Good day everyone, today I will be discussing some real life problems on right triangle. In this lesson, we'll be, we will be having the angles of elevation and angles of depression. Now to illustrate to you the angle of elevation and depression, let's have the definition. The angle of elevation is an acute angle formed between the horizontal line of sight and the observer's line of sight when viewing the object above the horizontal line of sight. So since this is a real life problem, so let's say we have this illustration where P stands for the person and O is the object. So here, this is our horizontal line of sight and this is the observer's line of sight. So the angle formed between the horizontal line of sight and the observer's line of sight, this angle, this is our angle of elevation. Now, we have the angle of depression. It is an acute angle formed between the horizontal line of sight and observer's line of sight when viewing an object below the horizontal line of sight. So in, in this figure, we have the person here and the object. So notice that the object is located below the observer. This is our horizontal line of sight and the person line of sight is this one. Notice that we have this acute angle. This is what we call the angle of depression. Depression. Okay. Now let's try to solve some problems regarding this angle of elevations and depression. Now let's have our problem number one. If a tree casts a 60 feet lo low shadow and the angle of elevation from the end of the shadow to the top of the tree is 39.8 degrees, how high is the tree? So in solving right triangles, of course, we need first our illustration. So we have here a tree. Okay, let's say this is our tree. Okay. And it cast a shadow of 60 feet long. So it has a shadow. Okay. Let's say this is shadow. And from the tree to this point, the its shadow is 60 feet. Okay. This is the shadow of the tree. And the angle of elevation from the end of the shadow to the top of the tree is 39.08. From the end of the shadow to the top of the tree, so the angle of elevation, the angle here, the angle here is 39.8. Now we have our triangle here. This is the right angle. We have the given. 39.8 degrees and 60 feet. After getting the right triangle, determine the opposite side, adjacent, and the hypotenuse. So since this is our reference angle, the given angle, so opposite to it is the opposite side. Then this will be the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Now the question is, how high is the tree? So this is our unknown. Let's say X. So our unknown is opposite. 
we have the given adjacent. So our given here is the opposite and the adjacent. In our sokatawa, opposite and adjacent, tawa, that is tangent function. So tangent, our degree is 39.8, or the measure of the angle is equal to opposite, let's say x, over adjacent 60. Cross multiply, so we have x is equal to 60 tangent 39.8 degrees. So x is 60 tangent 39.8. Then press equal sign, that is 49.99. Do we have our unit? So fit. 49.99 So therefore the height of the tree is 49.99 That is our problem number one Now let's have our example number two Paul is at X distance from the base of a 50 feet high building. He noticed that looking at the top of the building, the angle of elevation is 41 degrees. How far is he from letter A, the top of the building, letter B, the base of the building? Let us first illustrate our problem. So we have a building. The building is 50 feet high. So the height of the building is 50 feet. And Paul is standing at x distance from the building. So from the building to Paul is X. And looking on top of the building, Paul noticed the angle of elevation that is 41 degrees. Okay. Now we're going to find the distance between Paul to the top of the building. So the hypotenuse. So let us name it H, hypotenuse. Then the base of the building from Paul to the base of the building. So we're going to find X. Now, since this is our angle, so this given will be the opposite, the opposite side. This is the adjacent side and our hypotenuse. Let us solve letter A. We're going to find the hypotenuse. So, given will be opposite and hypotenuse. From our Sokatawa, if the given are opposite and hypotenuse, we're going to use the sine function. So, so ka to -wa. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine... Our angle is 41 is equal to opposite. Our opposite is 50 all over our hypotenuse, H. Now, cross multiply. So we have H sine 41 degrees is equal to 50. Finally, to get H, we need to divide by sine 41 degrees sine 41 degrees cancel out so h is equal to sine of oh, 50 divided by sine 41 50 divided by sine 41 just press in your calculator and you will come up with 76.21 our unit 
is fit, so we need to do this. Next, letter B. From the base of the building. Paul, from the base of the building, so we're going to find X. So our given will be opposite and adjacent. From the soka towa, towa. So we're going to use the function tangent. Tangent 41 is equal to opposite. That is 50 over adjacent. The same step, cross multiply. So we have x tangent 41 degrees is equal to 50. Divided by tangent 41 degrees. Tangent 41 degrees. So x is equal to, pressing your calculator, 50 divided by tangent 41. And that is 57.5. 52 our unit feet. 57.52 and problem number three stay tuned